Hi, I'm Keith Barton. In my tertiary referral practice, silicon oil glaucoma is common. Silicon oil emulsion can get everywhere inside the eye, under the conjunctiva if vitrectomy ports leak. It can get in the drainage angle, damaging trabecular meshwork. It can adhere to the posterior capsule, reducing vision. And obviously it can be in the vitreous cavity. It can mimic cells in the anterior chamber. And there's even a tiny droplet lodged in the cup of the optic disc in this case. Open angle glaucoma is common after vitrectomy and silicon oil, even after oil removal. This is different from angle closure in oil filled aphakic eyes, which is corrected by an inferior surgical iridectomy. Drainage devices or shunts, such as the Barveld implant, have revolutionised the management of silicon oil glaucoma. Functioning in cases where trabeculectomy and other surgical options would have a very poor chance of success. However, oil must be prevented from going up the tube and causing inflammation and scarring in the subconjunctival space. Although oil sticks to the tube, when the tube is stented with a rip cord suture, oil does not reach the subconjunctival space. Subtotal occlusion with a rip cord suture reduces the tube lumen, allowing aqueous but not oil to pass through and up the tube. Though not ideal, this Multino implant continued to function despite the ebb and flow of oil up and down inside the tube. It is better to prevent oil from entering the tube, but a limited amount may not be a disaster. Surface tension prevents oil entering the pole implant, which is like a barbell, but with a smaller tube. In conclusion, silicon oil glaucoma is common despite oil removal, but tube implants offer several options for achieving good intraocular pressure control. Thank you for watching.